What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Cardboard Prospector channel. Hey, we're here with TCG Saturday. Yeah, that's right. We said Saturday. And uh, on deck today, we have the monthly Patreon shipment from DM Armada, another YouTube channel here on Facebook. But hey, before we get into that, make sure you smash that like button, click on subscribe, and ding the bell so you're notified of all of our future videos. Alright everybody, welcome back. Like I said, today we're doing a TCG Saturday. Um, just a little house cleaning. I want to apologize to all of our loyal subscribers. I know our last video was all the way back on TCG Friday on the 14th. Um, literally about 15 minutes after recording that video, uh, I got the phone call from my cousin that our aunt had died. And so it's been a long week of uh, just dealing with family stuff and reconnecting and everything there so uh apologies for that we are back though and um we got our monthly patreon shipment from dm armada uh, in the mail just a couple of days ago and i thought that uh, this would be a great uh unboxing mail day video to do uh to take and and bring us back and so uh if you're not familiar with uh, DM Armada, they are a YouTube channel, and uh, they do gaming, um, especially focused lately on Flesh and Blood. Uh, this playmat is actually uh, from DM Armada. This is a custom playmat that they had done up. We're going to take and leave a link to their YouTube channel down in the description so you can go check them out. Um, they are an amazing um channel and they have a lot of information about the um the tcg gameplay and deck building and so forth and so just a a, a great resource to the uh the gaming community and uh we are one of their high level patrons and so every month we get a little care package in the mail and so we're going to take an open that today it looks like uh, this one's a little bit thicker than usual we have uh some uh, Tales of Aria and some Unlimited uh, Crucible of War uh, booster packs here. It looks like there's two of each, well, which is pretty awesome. Usually there's only uh, two booster packs in a monthly shipment. And it looks like our, our uh, Rainbow Foils are an Amulet of Lightning and an Amulet of Earth. So these are both pretty cool cards. Um, and it looks like... Uh, Looks like they signed a DMA, DM Armada, on both of these. So I'm going to add those to our uh, little personal collection there. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, Crucible of War is actually out of print. Uh, so we'll save those. Let's take and jump into the Tales of Aria first. Uh, this is the most recent set. Now um, we have Everfest coming. I've seen pre-sales on Everfest already, so I'm assuming that we could expect to see Everfest um, hitting our local game shops and everything probably within the month. I think the uh, release date is actually scheduled for February. I'll have to double check on that. So, but uh, let's take a jump into this first pack of uh, Tales of Aria here. We got our uh, token here on the back, Titan's Fist and Embodiment of Lightning. Beautiful artwork on that. And moving right in, we have a break ground, and uh, this is an earth action attack. Attacks for six. Very nice. This is a common. We have the lightning surge, lightning action attack, and this is a two attack for zero cost. Common card there. Entwine lightning. This is another uh, elemental action attack, and this is a zero cost attacks for three. We have a Chill to the Bone. This is an Ice Action card. The, uh, the artwork on all of their cards is just amazing. We have the Flake Out. This is an Elemental Ranger Action Arrow Attack. And this is a uh, Cost 1 Attack for 3. We have the Sigil of Suffering. This is a Runeblade Defense Reaction card. 
This is a rare. Very nice. We'll put that to the side for our rares. Uh, we have another rare here, the Bolt and Shoot Ranger Action Arrow Attack. This is a zero attack or a zero cost to attack. There we go. Our foil is Electrify, Lightning Action Card. Unfortunately, a common, but uh, beautiful artwork on that. Got that rainbow foil going on. Very nice. All right, up next we have the Mark of Lightning, Lightning Equipment. This is a common. Followed by the Arcanic Shockwave, Elemental Rune Blade Action Attack card. And this is a cost zero attack for four. So there we go, get that focus going on there. All right, up next we have the Glacial Footsteps. Now, um, this is a Elemental Guardian Action Attack card. This is an expensive card. I mean, it costs six and attacks for eight. Um, so a big attack right there. And if you can take and get that on an attack chain, uh, obviously that could do a lot of damage, but very expensive to cast that card. We have Entangle, an Elemental Guardian Action Attack card. This one's a uh, cost three attack for five. Chilling Ice Vein, Elemental Ranger Action. This is an arrow attack. Now, this is a cost one, but attack for four. So, uh, pretty heavy duty uh, damage for a very low cost on that. Stir the Wildwood, Elemental Rune Blade Action Attack card. This is a cost two, attack for five. Beautiful artwork on that. So, uh, I just love that. I don't think the camera is picking up the. Uh, the vividness of the green and everything in there. And then ending that pack, we have Thump, which is a Guardian Action Attack. Now, this is a really expensive one because it costs four and attacks for four. Um, now, you're paying basically for the, uh, the uh, action on this card, though. So if the attack is greater than the base attack, it has Dominate. So with your Guardians and so forth, you can take in and boost your attacks. And so if that uh, card attack value was boosted based off of your Guardian's ability, then uh, obviously you get Dominate on that card. And uh, that makes it so the uh, defending player can only defend with one card. So it kind of helps you guarantee some damage. All right, second pack on Tales of Aria. Our token is a Frostbite. Elemental token, and we have Lexi, young uh, elemental ranger hero. This is the young version of Lexi. Let's get that in there. Ooh, there we go. Come on. All right, she ain't going to cooperate. All right, moving right along. Let's see what we got. Okay, Winter's Grafts. This is an ice action attack. Now, this is an awesome card because this is a cost two, but attacks for six. So, low cost, high attack. Great card right there. It's common. We have another Lightning Surge, and this is the Lightning Action Attack, cost zero, attack for three. Beautiful artwork on that. I'd love to see that in uh, like a rainbow foil. We have a Polar Blast, Ice Action. I actually have a promo card of this that I got at one of the events, and it looks beautiful in that cold foiling. Entwine Lightning, Elemental Action Attack. I just can't get over the artwork on this. I mean, like every single one of these cards, another Glacial Footsteps. Uh, this is a cost six attack for 10. So, um, but like I was saying, like every single card on here, the art is just beautiful. We have a Biting Gale and Elemental Guardian Defense Reaction. This is a rare. There we go. We have the Channel Mount Heroic. This is an Earth Action Aura card, and this is a Majestic. Let's see down here, we got the red M. Very nice. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we have a Weave Earth. This is an Earth Action card. This is a rare, and it is our rainbow foil for the pack. So very nice to pull a rare rainbow foil. I think I would have liked it better if that mythical or the Majestic was the rainbow. We have a Mark of Lightning, Lightning Equipment. 
followed by uh, the Vela Flash Elemental Rune Blade Action Attack. This is a cost one attack for three. Just check out the art on there, though. I mean, if you're a fan of the, uh, you know, the fantasy world art, comic art, etc., these cards are just amazing. Strength of Sequoia, Elemental Guardian Action Aura card. This is a common. Get this one to... Uh, can't seem to get that one to focus, unfortunately. All right, we have Buzz Bolt, Elemental Ranger Action Arrow Attack. This is a cost one attack for three. There we go. The Rites of Replenishment, Elemental Rune Blade Action Attack. This is a cost two attack for four. Beautiful artwork on there as well. Kind of That one actually kind of reminds me of something you'd see from Poison Ivy. Uh, we have Snow Under, Elemental Guardian Action Attack card. This is a cost three attack for five. And finishing out the pack, we have Overflex, which is a Ranger action card. Um, your next arrow attack this turn gains plus two on the attack. So awesome card to have in your arsenal there. If we can get that to focus. There we go. Beautiful. That big old fish surfacing behind him. All right, so that was the uh, two packs of the um, Tales of Aria uh, boosters right there. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into these Crucible of War. Now, Crucible of War is out of print. Legend Story of Studios is not printing the Crucible of War set anymore. Um, however, um, oh, wow, look at that. Okay, we got a little bonus in here. We have a Brutal Assault um, generic action attack, and this is a Rainbow Foil um looks like we got two bonuses in here and uh this is a cost two attack for six you see this is the rainbow foil and on the other side here we have a winter's grasp ice action attack rainbow foil cost two attack for five um so that is awesome to get those stuffed in there as well i have to reach out to uh, dm armada and uh, find out what the deal is with the uh, the double. Like I said, usually on these uh, monthly packs, we get uh, two sealed packs and then two um, like single cards. So getting all of these uh, extra packs and everything is uh, kind of a surprise. I'm like, what what's going on here? So all right, this first pack is being difficult. There we go. Let's get into this. All right, so we are starting off with Snapback, which is a wizard action card. And uh, I think we'll start a new pile over here for these. We have Consuming Volition, a Runeblade action attack card. Cost one, attack for three. Beautiful artwork on there. Quite amazing. All right, up next we have Teclavossen's Workshop. This is a Mechanologist action card. Nice little uh, room scene going on there. We have Copper, which is a generic token item. Followed by Bittering Thorns. This is a ninja action attack. Cost one, attack for three. Up next, we have Swing Fist Think Later, a brute action attack. Cost one, attack for two. We have a Soul Bead Strike, Ninja Action Attack card. Cost zero, attack for four. Um, and on this card, if it strikes a hit, it gains go again. Very awesome card to have right there. All right, we've got our Rainbow Foil, Predatory Assault. This is a Brute Action Attack. Cost two, attacks for four. And uh, this is our Rainbow Foil. It is a common. And up next, we have Remorseless, Ranger Action, Arrow Attack, cost one, attack for five. This is a Majestic. We've got the, uh, the M down there. Very awesome right there. And then follow that up with a High Speed Impact, Mechanologist Attack, cost one, attacks for two, and this is a rare. 
very cool. Um, so very nice to uh, pull a, uh, a majestic and a rare out of there. I will not complain about that. So now these are the uh, the unlimited, obviously. Um, and uh, wow, that did not rip the way we had planned it. There we go. All right, let's get into there. That's interesting. All right, starting things off, we have Rousing Aether Wizard Action. Focus. All right. Uh, we have Meet and Greet, a Rune Blade action attack, cost one, attack for three. And uh, she does not look like she's going to be your friend, does she? <laughs> All right, we have Sleep Dart, Ranger action arrow attack, cost one, attack for four. Brutal Assault, generic action attack, cost two, attack for four. Followed by Riled Up, a Brute action attack, cost three, but attacks for six. And it's got some uh, other special things on here. If you've discarded a card with six or more attack, then Riled Up gains plus one attack. We have Choke Slam, Guardian Action Attack. Now, this is a cost four, but attacks for seven. And if this does four or more damage, um, action cards they control can't gain attack bonuses during their next turn. Very nice. We have Crush the Weak, Guardian Action Attack, cost three, attack for five. All right, our Rainbow Foil is Increase the Tension. This is a Ranger Action card. Very cool. All right, followed up by a Barraging Bighorn, Brute Action Attack, cost two, attack for seven. And this is a rare. And ending out that pack, we have Reinforce the Line, Generic Instant Action, and this is also a rare. Very, very cool. Like I said, uh, DM Armada is a YouTube channel, and uh, they uh, are all about gaming, and obviously very into flesh and blood. So if you are uh, into TCGs and everything, I encourage you to check them out. We'll be leaving a link. Uh, in the description to their YouTube channel, and uh, they also have a Patreon, and uh, very, very much worth uh, going and checking out their content. Uh, just a reminder to everybody, our our giveaway for the 2021 Tops Chrome Blaster Box is still in full effect. Uh, looks like we've got probably just over a week. Uh, we will be closing the entries on February 2nd. And the box will be uh, given away and opened on the channel on February 3rd for uh, Retail Rips Thursday. So you still have time to get into the giveaway. The link is down in the description. Uh, be sure you click on that and get entered. And as a reminder, we have a challenge going on. If we reach 100 subscribers by Valentine's Day, we will be giving away a uh, 2021 Topps Holiday Mega Box. And uh, the time to enter on that will only be about two weeks. And uh, we'll have that one given away by the end of February. So uh, share our channel, like and subscribe, and uh, make sure you enter the current giveaway. And if we reach 100 subs by Valentine's Day, we'll be putting up that holiday mega box from Tops. If you're on social, be sure to take and give us a follow on Facebook at Cardboard Prospector, on Twitter at Card underscore Prospector, and on Instagram at Cardboard Prospector, hit up the website, CardboardProspector.com. And uh, hey, if you like what we're doing, click that Buy Me a Coffee link in the description and leave us a tip. Everything we get through there goes back into purchasing product open here on the channel. We hope you enjoyed this uh, TCG Saturday. We have uh, some Mystery Pack stuff coming up tomorrow. And uh, the fun continues next week with uh, some more... Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, sports, etc. So we look forward to seeing you back then. Until next time, y'all have a great weekend and keep on ripping.